25 in the forefoot. That's that's good for the trail as far as rolling ankles. So I do, I like their strategy there, not making it, let's say, like 38 in. Onward and upward. Thank you, Innovate, for sending along this shoe, the Innovate Trailfly Ultra G280, a nitrogen-infused midsole, what they call their fly speed midsole. All right, let's dive into it on, shout out to the UK, all right? How's the weather over there? You wearing Innovate shoes out there on the trails, all right? Definitely a knit upper, 100%, decent lockdown for that knit, I kid. I'm gonna, boy, if you're running in cold weather, I'm thinking like Canada right now or Norway, wherever it's really frigid out there, this is gonna be a very nice upper for the winter time. I don't even know if you'd have to wear winter socks for running out there. Like I, anyway, I really appreciated that testing because it is, you know, now snowy here in Denver, Colorado. All right, now the reason the overall upper score isn't a little better is because just a little extra cushion through the heel counter. It was fine, no rubbing, no issues like that, no blisters, but just, ooh, I could you, you know, I would love just a little more forgiveness through the heel counter, heel collar, uh, heel tab uh, in, the, in, a, in this Innovate Trail Fly shoe. All right, did I mention the drop? There it is, 33 and 25, okay. And the weight, all right, on your screen, standard score. And it is that Fly Speed midsole. Okay, let's do, I think we're getting upper 40s. So even though it's a nitrogen infused midsole, let's just check. I think it was getting like 40, oh, there it is, 49. Uh, let's see, 52, ooh, interesting, okay. And let's try the other side here, 46. So, you know, a little bit on the firm side, even though, now I've been testing Innovate for four years. I remember the first one was their Ice Spike shoe. What was it called? Oh man, I don't even remember. It was four years ago, but the midsole was so firm. Like, it was probably in this, close to the 60s with respect to the durometer. So I love the fact, Innovate, that you're trending a little bit softer. All right, for my liking, I don't know if that's more common in that region of the, Uni of the United Kingdom to have shoes a little bit on the firmer side, but I appreciate the nitrogen infused midsole, which did improve the ride and energy return. If you like a little ground contact, this is a good shoe for you. You know, you don't want to be too far stacked up. 25 in the forefoot, that's that's good for the trail as far as rolling ankles. So I do, I like their strategy there, not making it, let's say like 38 and 30, you know, an eight millimeter drop with 38 and 30. So I like their approach overall for this trail fly through the Midsole, all right, there you go. Outsole here, man, G-grip, graphene enhanced rubber. It's, so I'm always saying, Solomon, uh, La Sportiva, and Innovate. Those are the, the three trail running shoe companies that I feel have the best durability and overall construction. But I'm gonna give the hand to Innovate with respect to the outsoles. Their graphene grip, which I believe is patented and you know trademarked by Innovate. Like I don't know if anybody else can use this composition for their out. Like it is unbelievable. If you're looking for a durable, tacky, uh, it's, it's I haven't seen. It's just an amazing, amazing outsole rubber. Okay, I probably could have given them a 10 out of 10. Like I love. And I'll just say this shoe. I would commute. Uh, you know, maybe not more than like three miles, but I would commute to the trails. The the lugs, oh man, I don't even know if I have the lug depth. I think we're looking probably at about two, three millimeters. All right, so not crazy on the lugs, which is nice. Also that adapter flex groove there just to help your foot flex a little more right there through the foot strike, which again, if you're climbing mountains, you wanna have, you know, you don't want too rigid under step or else your feet, I, my feet can go numb and get achy. If you're running for more than let's say 15, miles out there on the trail so I like a little flex there just to let the foot move with the earth all right fit true to size um, a little lower on the score because I do prefer a little bit of a snugger fit and I noticed plenty of splay in the in the toe box plenty so if you have a wider foot boom this shoe could be for you durability we're going we're going 500 it's I actually did I go no I went 600 600 miles for the durability. It's, and it, I probably could have gone 750. And as always, if you pick up this shoe, let me know. I think it's just, it's gonna go. I'm seeing zero creasing through the testing uh, this far. Uh, 185, I'm gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out. You guys know a four is no good. This is where the info at Demore send the photos in. If you can get this shoe to a thousand miles, 
then 185 really starts to become interesting. And I would say, great, that's a great price point. But if you're only getting 500 miles out of the shoe, 185 is, you know, it's up there. It's just, there's no other way to get around a shoe. Quick specs, one more time, there you go. Soak them in, all right, for the Innovate Trail Fly Ultra. And that full review scores 6.8. Out of 10, 6.8, all right, so getting there, we're getting there, it's good, it's good, don't don't get me wrong, I know the score is not in the sevens or close to the eights, but uh, I would, would I buy the shoe again? I would, for very particular, you know, especially in the winter time for me, training out, I'm excited to use this shoe through this entire winter, out. I really am, like, this will be, um, it'll, oh yeah, and how would I use the shoe? I would go eight to 15. Eight would be the training range, eight to 15 miles out there on the trails. Comment of the day from the UK, Simon. Thank you, Simon. UK runner here. I can confirm that the X Talon Ultra, another Innovate shoe, 260 V1 is a mad durable shoe and is holding up well after 400 plus miles. This was a bit of a dream shoe for a wet and slippery Wendover Woods 50 miler a few years back. The sticky grip outsole rubber was perfect for descending with confidence. Simon, you nailed it. It's like that that rubber just, it's tacky. Innovate, you're crushing it. You're really doing a great job there on the outsoles. All, oh, this, their outsoles are, I can tell, whoever their engineers are, putting a ton of thought into their outsoles. Question of the day, here we go. Speaking of descending quickly on mountains, what have you done recently to overcome one of your fears? What have you done recently to overcome one of your fears, all right? Whoa, you can go connect it to life, connect it to running, connect it to running shoes, whatever you wanna connect it to, that is the question of the day. Onward we go. I believe we have an innovate running shoe playlist. If we don't, we'll toss it to the trail running shoe playlist. Trail running shoe playlist right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.